Hi there, welcome back to the great garage sale collection unboxing. We're on box three. This is the big one. This is the big box of horses. So hopefully we will find something exciting this week. Let's keep our fingers crossed. First, we have, very nice, a Western Prancer in buckskin. I really like this mold. I think he's cute. He has a little personality. We all have our favorite molds. And he has um, the dorsal stripe, which is cool. Not bad condition, good shading. So nice horse to start with. And next we have a family Arabian mare in gray Appaloosa. Nice, standard, nothing really exciting about her, but she is in good condition, so that's nice. And one of the more popular, interesting colors on that model. And another Bay family Arabian mare. These gals were made for a very long time, and there are a lot of them out there. The one thing that I do always look at with all horses now is I always double check their white marks and the bottom of their hooves to check for chalkiness. I've found quite a few chalkies over the years, so you never know. Oh, we have another Misty of Shinkatig. Now this is an interesting one. Um, maybe I'll do a picture someday, but this gal has a significantly different pattern than the other Misty. She has the lot of white over here, and she has a very swoopy edge to her pattern on this side. So it's not quite as exciting as what we call the four-eyed Misty variation, but this is definitely a darker and more attractive variation of the Misty mold. So. There are some diehard Misty collectors out there, and this particular pattern is a little more fun and exciting than the last one that we saw. Next, we have a Clydesdale mare. She is in very nice condition. These horses, I think, were the nicer ones because almost none of these have any rubs. She is very nice. She has some nice shading, so um, she's in very good condition. And we have a Clydesdale Stallion. He is in, he's in good condition. The first thing you check with Clydesdale Stallions is check their bobs because the first thing that'll break when somebody's playing with them is their bobs. And he has all of his bobs. However, he has a crack. A lot of the, these are made, these horses are made by injection molding. So they take these plastic pellets and they heat them until they're a liquid and they shoot them into these steel injection molds. And if you don't have the correct temperature, if you don't have the right mixture, if you don't have the right liquid agent in there, you can have a lot of problems with the plastic. That's why some collectors will see horses that will shrink, that will sweat, that will do different things. And one of the things that they can do is they can crack along these mold flaw lines. And um, so this guy is actually physically cracking along a mold flaw and you can trace it up through his barrel. So it's one of the things that we don't like to see in our briars. And unfortunately, sometimes you don't know until years later when things like this develop. I think the elephant is prone to mold cracking. There's a couple of molds. The Lonesome Glory is particularly uh, prone along his top line. So there are just some molds that tend to crack more than others. And we have the Clydesdale Fold to go with our Marin Stallion, so that's nice. He's in very nice condition, just a very nice minimally shaded bay chestnut. And next we have the Quarter Horse Yearling. For some reason I always have to think because I confuse the Quarter Horse Yearling and the Quarter Horse Gelding, even though they look nothing alike. And very nice, um, this is one of the darker ones that I've seen, very dark brown chestnut. Not a very popular mold, um, but the thing to look for with these is these guys come in chalkies, the Misty comes in chalky, the um, Clydesdale family, so even the family Arabians. So the first thing I check with these is check the blanket, check the bottom of the hooves. This one's not, but she is a very, very nice mellow dark brown. And we have a Bay Family Arabian Stallion. hoo -ah. We're getting the trifecta of Family Arabians. We haven't seen a Palomino yet. He is really nice. He's very dark. He's in good condition. Um, just not the most exciting mold, but that's okay. We love him anyway. Another quarter horse yearling. 
This one in the liver chestnut, um, same mold, but released about the same time. He is also very dark. I think the other color that they came in at that time, the original release colors, was a Palomino. And we have a family Arabian foal in Palomino. I was just, just saying we needed a Palomino. Um, we have a family Arabian foal in Palomino. He is not a chalky. Very nice dark. Uh, the, the Palominos in particular had a lot of variation from very lemony yellow to a very nice dark mellow. And this is one of the nicer, darker, mellow Palomino colors. We have an El, uh, El Pastor, and this was one of my favorite molds when I was a kid. Um, one of the variations, they may or may not have a star, something to look for. He's just the common star, non-chalky, but nice condition. Just a nice, quiet mold. Very attractive, but a little tippy. Do be careful. Oh. We have a buckskin lying down foal. I really like buckskin, so I think he's really cute and attractive. He does not have his dorsal stripe. I remember at a jamboree many, many, many years ago, meeting someone who was very excited about the lying down foals, and the crown jewel of her collection was a buckskin lying down foal with dorsal stripe. So this is not one of those, but I think of Sue. We have a Shetland Pony. This is a Chalky, so this is very nice. The bays, it's hard to tell. Any of the horses that don't have a lot of white are very hard to tell if they're Chalky. So a, a base coat Briar Chalky. They took the original blank mold, shot them with white paint, and then shot the bay or whatever the next base coat color is. So you can see on the nose that they are very, very white. The white of the plastic is kind of mellow. The white of the chalky paint is actually very matte. So when you, when you see that quality in person, it just jumps out at you. If you ever see one online and you're not 100% sure, ask the person to send you pictures of the bottom of their hooves because the bottom of their hooves can tell the tail because they're, they weren't actually painted on the bottom of their hooves. There'll be some overspray, but that's where you can tell the most um, if a horse is chalky or not. So this is a chalky Shetland pony. So this is not the most uncommon of chalkies. And again, they definitely, collectors like the, the ones that have more white on them, but still, it's an uncommon piece and pretty collectible. And we have a Proud Arabian Stallion to go with our lovely Proud Arabian Fold that we found, I think, in the last box. This is, this is definitely a more typical of the dapple gray color. They shot the dapples across the body, did not come up onto the face and neck. So this is a normal sort of, he's, he's pretty heavily dappled, which is cool. And he's in very nice condition. The dapple grays are one of the most fragile colors. So he is in nice condition and he, is, he has a lot of dappling. So that's pretty popular. Not a chalky, but still a very attractive Proud Arabian Stallion. And we have another family Arabian foal. This is Bay to go, Matt Bay to go with our Matt Bay family. He's nice, he has a few rubs. He's not in quite as good a condition as some of the rest of them. Oh, nice. Now this is a buckskin Mustang. He's, oh, he's not in good condition. He has lots of rubs and oopses on this side. He is a really nicely shaded on this side though. When I pulled him out, I could see that shading. And so he's a nice horse, no dorsal stripe, just a nice common bay. And if you sat him on a shelf, he'd look good. I still got several horses in here, so we'll see what happens. This is the classic Arabian foal in black. Again, not a chalky, but he's very cute. Very nicely shaded, nicely painted. I got 
another classic Arabian fold, this time in Palomino. These guys came in the family in Chestnut, or they came in on individual blister cards in the black and the Palomino. Um, really nice, really good condition. Uh, these are some of my favorites. I love those little classics. And another! Here, so here we have the chestnut that goes with the family, but you could also find them loose on card. Again, nicely painted. And our last piece, I think, is a fighting stallion. He's very interesting. So he is a very lemony yellow palomino. Um, doesn't look chalky or pearly, but he is pretty attractive on this side. But again, like the Mustang, on this side, he has lots of rubs and ubers and goobers. So um, he's very attractive on this side. So if you put them on the shelf together, they would look very nice. So mostly, mostly a carpet herd, but there's a few interesting horses in here. So we'll see what I end up doing with them. But that was an interesting box. You never know what you're going to find. Could have been something really awesome or could have been all carpet herd. I think overall, mom did very well. Thank you, mom. And... We'll see you next time I make a video. Thank you.